What's up everybody? Welcome back to another new video on the channel that I hope you guys will enjoy. Today, Otaku Sensei is going to be recommending the top 10 anime where the main character is strong from the start and surprises everyone when he shows his powers. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, remember to turn on notifications for more upcoming top 10 videos. Also, there's a link to Otaku Sensei's Patreon and Discord server in the description so you can support the channel even further. And Otaku Sensei recently created a Twitter account, so it would be great if you guys go and follow him at AnimeBrownNet. Without any more time being wasted, let's kick off this list. In 10th place is Saiken no Blacksmith. 44 years ago, a great war known as the Valbanil War ravaged the land. One of the war's most dangerous weapons was the Demon Contract, where humans sacrificed their bodies to become powerful demons. Realizing the damage the contracts have caused, the surviving nations made peace and banned the use of demon contracts. Cecily Campbell is a third generation knight from Houston, one of the independent trade cities, a democratic federation of cities. As her grandfather was one of the founders of the independent trade cities, she is proud of her heritage and wishes to protect her city as a knight, like her father and grandfather before her. One day, she fights a mad veteran of the war, causing trouble in the market, and inexperienced and outmatched, faces defeat. But she is saved by a mysterious blacksmith named Luke Ainsworth. Cecily is impressed by Luke's katana, a weapon she had never seen before, and asks him to make one for her. Her involvement with Luke will bring her to an adventure she never expected. In ninth place is Ayosakai no Chushin Dei. A reimagining of the console wars, the series tells the story of two kingdoms, the Segua Kingdom and the Nintendo Empire, locked in a struggle for the dominance over the land of Consume. After years of war, the Segua Kingdom is on the defensive until a kid named Gear appears, boasting of his incredible speed and powers. But what he does not know is there is another out there that is more powerful than him. <laughs> In 8th place is K-Project. Kings are individuals who are bestowed with incredible supernatural powers and granted the ability to recruit others into their clans. Protecting the lives and honor of their clansmen is an integral part of the king's duties. After a video depicting the heinous murder of a red clansman spreads virally, the unassuming student Yashiro Isana is accused of homicide. However, a manhunt is underway for his head, bringing him into contact with the infamous black dog Kuro Yadagami, a skilled swordsman and martial artist determined to follow the wishes of his late master, the Seventh King. Meanwhile, the current Red King, Mikoto Sao, faces his own imminent demise, a search for Yashiro Neros. But during Yashiro's struggle to prove his innocence, a greater conspiracy is unraveling behind the scenes. Clouds begin to appear in his memory, and close friends start to question his very existence. What began as a simple murder is now leading towards a full-blown war between kings with the very fate of the world at stake. <laughs> In 7th place is Saiken Tsukai no World Break. Saiken Tsukai no World Break takes place at Akane Private Academy, where students who possess memories of their previous lives are being trained to use ancestral arts so they can serve as defenders against monsters called metaphysicals, who randomly attack. Known as saviors, the students are broken up into two categories, the Karagane, who are able to use their prana to summon offensive weapons, and Kuroma, who are able to use magic. The story begins six months prior to the major climax of the series, during the opening ceremonies of the first day of the school year. After the ceremony is over, the main character, Mora Haimura, meets a girl named Satsuki Ranjo, who reveals that she was Haimura's little sister in a past life, where Haimura was a heroic prince capable of slaying entire armies with his sword skills. Soon after, he meets another girl, Shizuno Urushibaru who eventually reveals that she also knew Haimura in a completely different past life where he was a dark lord capable of using destructive magic but saved her from a life of slavery. 
Can those whose minds live both in the present and the past truly reach a bright future? Delve into the complex world of Saiken Sukai no World Break to find out. In sixth place is Black Cat. Completing every job with ruthless accuracy, Train Hartnett is an infamous assassin with no regard for human life. Donning the moniker Black Cat in the underground world, the elite killer works for the powerful secret organization known only as Kronos. One gloomy night, the blase gunman stumbles upon Saya Minasuki, an enigmatic bounty hunter, and soon develops an odd friendship with her. Influenced by Saya's positive outlook on life, Train begins to rethink his life. Deciding to abandon his role as the Black Cat, he instead opts to head down a virtuous path as an honest bounty hunter. However, Kronos, and particularly Creed Densketh, Train's possessive underling, is not impressed with Train's sudden change of heart and vows to resort to extreme measures in order to bring back the emissary of bad luck. This assassin turned stray cat can only wander so far before the deafening sound of gunfire rings out. In fifth place is Mayu Mao Yusha. Fifteen years have passed since the war between humans and demons began. Dissatisfied with their slow advance into the demon realm, the hero abandons his companions to quickly forge ahead towards the demon queen's castle. Upon his arrival at the royal abode, the hero makes a startling discovery. Not only is the demon queen a woman of unparalleled beauty, but she also seeks the hero's help. Confused by this turn of events, the hero refuses to ally himself with his enemy, claiming that the war the demons have waged is tearing the southern nations apart. However, the demon queen rebuts, arguing that the war not only has united humanity, but has brought them wealth and prosperity, providing evidence to support her claims. Furthermore, she explains that if the war were to end, the supplies sent by the central nations in aid to the southern nations would cease, leaving hundreds of thousands to starve. Fortunately, she offers the hero a way to end the war while bringing hope not only to the southern nations, but to the rest of the world, though she will need his help to make this a reality. Finally convinced, the hero agrees to join his now former enemy in her quest. Vowing to stay together through sickness and health, they set off for the human world. In fourth place is Bloodlad. Staz Charlie Blood is a powerful vampire who rules the eastern district of Demon World. According to rumors, he is a bloodthirsty and merciless monster, but in reality, Staz is just an otaku obsessed with Japanese culture and completely uninterested in human blood. Leaving the management of his territory to his underlings, Staz spends his days lazing around indulging in anime, manga, and games. When Fuyumi Yanagi, a Japanese girl, accidentally wanders through a portal leading into the demon world, Staz is overjoyed. But just as he is starting to feel an unusual attraction to her, his territory is attacked, resulting in Fuyumi's untimely death. She turns into a wandering ghost, and the crestfallen Staz vows to resurrect her as this would mean being able to travel to the human world, something he has always dreamed of. In third place is Roken no Yusha. An ancient legend states that with the revival of the demon god, six heroes, the Braves of the Six Flowers, will be chosen by the goddess of fate, granting them the power to rise up against the fiends attempting to turn the world into a living hell. Adlet Mayer, self-proclaimed strongest man in the world, has arrived at the continent of Pina in hopes of becoming a Brave. Although it doesn't go as smoothly as he planned, Adlet is ultimately chosen as one of the six heroes shortly after greeted by Nashitanya Loe Pena Agustra, crown princess and fellow brave. In second place is Akatsuki no Yona. Princess Yona lives in a life of luxury and ease, completely sheltered from the problems of the seemingly peaceful kingdom of Koka. However, the sudden murder of the king and the betrayal of her beloved cousin Su Wan places Yona's life in mortal peril. Forced to escape only with San Hak, who is both her childhood friend and bodyguard, the naive princess soon discovers that Koka is not the idyllic place she envisioned it to be. Poverty, strife, and corruption run rampant making reclaiming the throne nothing more than a wishful fantasy given the kingdom's current state. 
based on the popular manga of the same name by Mizuho Kusanagi. Akatsuki no Yona follows Princess Yona on a coming-of-age adventure as she faces the harsh realities of her kingdom. With only a mysterious legend to guide her, Yona must discover a way to restore Koka to its former glory, while being pursued relentlessly by the forces of the new king of Koka. <laughs> In first place is Kenjin no Majao. A young man who had surely died in an accident was reborn in another world as a baby. After that, he was picked up by the patriot hero sage Merlin Wilford and was given the name Shin. He was raised as a grandson by Merlin and soaked up Merlin's teachings, earning him some shocking powers. However, when he became 15, his grandfather Merlin said, I forgot to teach him common sense. An abnormal boy's unconventional otherworld fantasy life starts here. Alright guys, that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming top 10 videos. Also, don't forget to follow Otaku Sensei on Twitter at AnimeBrownNet. I'll see you guys in the next one.